All right, so we're here again on the uh, western side of the old Hedekin sail, uh, and we have a really nice example of uh, what we call boutonnage structure, which is a lineation, it's a geological lineation. Let's just describe what we see here, first of all. The rock types, there are two rock types. We've got this dark gray uh, mudstone, it's heavily cleaved, as you can see. We've got this distinct, tougher, more competent sandstone, and above it then we've got mudstone with some minor amounts of sandstone there as well. The interesting thing about this thicker sandstone unit is that it is broken into a series of uh, veins, for want of a better word, fractures, that have been infilled and healed with quartz. It's done so in a very regular fashion, okay? So that what we're looking at here is that during the deformation, and the deformation here involved north-south compression, the mudstones tended to be deform in, in a ductile and a plastic fashion. They didn't produce any fractures, but the sandstone, because it's a tougher, more competent rock, fractured. And it fractured along strike. It extended. So we're compressing it in this north-south direction. We're extending it in an east-west direction. That process, where we're breaking the more competent units into a series of these blocks, we call that boudinage. And we're looking at individual boudins. These infilled vein areas are boudin necks. And when we measured those in the field, we measured them as a lineation. We could take a pencil and put it along the axis of that Buddha neck and measure the orientation of that as a plunge and trend. So it's a wonderful example of uh, boudinage uh, associated with, in this case, variscan deformation at the end of the Carboniferous here in Southern Ireland.